everyone, my name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a strategic advisor and I was having a conversation with a group of young professionals and one of the questions that we were discussing is how do you build your reputation in business? And I love that that was a question for especially young professionals as they are thinking about how they're building the network, as they're building their careers, and as they are really applying themselves to their profession. It's very challenging, I think, for all of us, but especially if you're new in your career, to build a reputation in these times of digital relationships, Zoom meetings, remote working. But I think one of the, uh, one of the things that we've decided was absolutely true is how you make people feel. And the thing that they get to take away from an interaction with you, whether that is strictly professional about a problem you're solving for a team member or a client or a customer, or it is just simply an engagement. So it starts with the simplest and the, the most seemingly insignificant interactions. How are you greeting somebody? Are you holding the door open for them? Are you polite? Do you know how to follow up with somebody in by email or go that extra mile and send a personalized card? I think these are small details that we often take for granted or think that they don't matter in the big scheme of things. And perhaps they don't matter in the same way that accomplishing a deadline or meeting a deadline, accomplishing a goal matters, but they do matter again in how you make people feel and how they think of you and what they think about when they think of you. So I want to really encourage all professionals to think of their reputation as something that precedes them. And it's built on how you make people feel and how do you build that? By paying attention to the small details. This, the bit of conversation, a quick little note, something that seems to be completely unrelated to the deadline and the goals you're trying to meet, but rather is personalized to who your team member, your audience, your client may be. One of the things that my team and I get to do for clients is we create swag material, everything from pens to hats to little tchotchkes that then they send out to their clients and customers. And I was on a networking call with somebody who is local to my community and specializes in creating swag. She shouted that out and let me know that that's what she does. Not only did she tell me that that is what she does, she also went ahead and created a little care packet for me in which she put post-it notes and sunscreen and a lip gloss, pens and a stress ball and sent it my way. Her name is Gretchen Nielsen and what she does and who she is and her name has been repeated in our team since then. We play with the stress balls we needed in this company. We write with the pens. We have consumed the post-it notes to jot down creative thoughts that we've had or quick little tasks that we needed to accomplish. What I'm trying to say is that this little packet is what made Gretchen Nielsen sticky to us. She has created a reputation for herself as a problem solver. Then she went above and beyond and has since then shouted out and tagged me on some of her posts on Instagram and LinkedIn, reminding me to think of her. And guess what? We are contacting her to create a particular piece of swag that we are having a very difficult time with uh, for her to source for us so that we can better serve our clients. And this is what's magical about reputation. Your reputation is going to be sticky and that's a good thing in that you're memorable and is going to support other people in being better connected. In that way, you become part of their network. And when they have a problem, they will think of you. So Gretchen could have sh stopped short during our networking opportunity and just said, hey, this is what I do. She went that extra mile and really paid attention to connecting herself, what she does and what she values to me. And that's causing me to think of her. 
So for young professionals, this is what we all do and have to do and be even better at. Paying attention to how we make people feel and giving them something to literally hold on to. So whether that is a card or a quick note or a shout out, staying top of mind. Remember that building your reputation is always connected to how you make people feel. How do you want other people to feel about you? How do you want them to think about you? And how often do you want to pop into somebody's mind when they're encountering a particular problem that you have the solution for? Think of your reputation as something you've built. Think of your reputation as being built through deepening relationships and making people feel good about what it is that you do. If you love this kind of content and you want to hear more and learn more, subscribe and comment below. Ask me your questions and we will work on providing even better content for you as we go. See you next time.